people. She's a really nice dog. I think one of the most significant aspects of our canine court program and our animal assisted therapy program is the flexibility that Penny exhibits. So she's a dog that can work in any setting. She's worked with children in child counseling. She has worked in the courtroom setting. She works with the counseling center. And very much like the rest of my staff in the domestic violence center, she exhibits a flexibility to be who she needs to be and where she needs to be at all times. A courtroom can be a very, very intimidating place for a small child. And these are children who have already been through probably some sort of trauma at home, which is one of the reasons why they're in the courtroom to begin with. And for a child to be thrust into that sort of atmosphere, number one, it's unfair. And number two, you know, I can't imagine how frightened and intimidated they can become at having to do something like that. I think anything that our office can do and anything that the system can do to make the environment more conducive to the victims is very, very important. And I believe that the success of Penny has shown that these programs work. Uh, as long as everybody has an open mind about what everybody's trying to accomplish, there aren't any issues. And it would be nice to see Penny get joined by some of her colleagues, so to speak, in other courtrooms around Allegheny County to make, again, to make these trips to the courthouse and to the different courtrooms in the minor judiciary a little bit more user-friendly for the victims and their families, especially the kids. So I didn't see a way that this was going to fail. And so if you have something that's going to be successful, that's going to be helpful, uh, and most certainly you have uh, this awesome little dog who, so she's not that little, uh, who's willing to do whatever and go to work every day and help people, why not? Penny's a, an asset to our counseling team. <laughs> um, I refer to her as my co-therapist. There's really a lot of different ways that she helps with clients, and it just depends on the client's particular constellation of issues. It can range from just getting people in the office um, when we're working with victims of trauma. Often because of the PTSD and anxiety and depression that go along with what they've been through, it's hard just to come. Um, it's scary knowing that they're coming in to talk about these things that are really uncomfortable. So if they have the additional um, incentive of spending time with Penny, it increases their ability to show up and, and have a reason that's more positive to come to the center. For a lot of people, you know, even just having, certainly my, my job is to be um, you know, completely non-judgmental, of course, and supportive, but it is clearly that way with the dog, right? They know that the dog can't judge them. They know that the dog has no um, hesitation to love them over the choices that they've made or anything like that. So I think having that kind of presence in the room just makes people a little bit more emotionally available. Penny has the ability to turn something that's very intimidating into something very friendly in just a matter of moments. And that's why we're a part of it. You came to me, Penny, you walked with me. Now I know that I can trust. You walked with me, Penny, you talked with me. Thank you for showing me that there's someone I can trust.